where you're going to notice depression when we say we feel depressed okay the tool you have is your body so really notice in your body how your energy is feeling when you're depressed you're probably going to notice you feel a little bit lower a little bit heavier a little bit more tired a little bit that you just want to be asleep so use your body as a tool to notice how you are feeling so as mentioned in the previous video, the chemical serotonin is what we need to focus on with depression. So how can we create some serotonin in our body? And it's very important when um, I talk about movement and it's about knowing that you're just not wanting, you're not going to want to do it, really, you know, someday, and if your depression's really heavy, you're not going to want to get out of bed and um, but however if it's a lighter depression and you're just feeling a bit low we have to use the mantra and I am choosing to do this for my mental health okay with whatever exercise this is going to be whether it's going for a walk going for a run going for a swim just getting out the, across the front door sometimes is hard enough and it's about saying to ourselves I am choosing to do this for my mental health a really important tool that I have to encourage you to activate on is talking. We need to talk about what's going on. And remember, this is about what's going on in the environment, what is keeping us stuck. And often we need to speak to somebody so we can figure that out. We don't just know our stuff. To talk to somebody, really consider who this needs to be. Often it needs to be confidential because you need to feel safe that that is not going anywhere. Um, so really I have to encourage you to look at your options here. So your options are, number, number one. one, please go and talk to your GP. You can put an appointment on for a longer session. Let the receptionist know that you want to talk about your mental health. If that feels too much for you, ask the receptionist for a GP who is pro-mental health. The waiting list of GPs for talking therapies can be quite long, so it's worth asking that. And again, knowing that you do have other options. Number two, find out what your workplace offers in terms of wellness. So nowadays, a lot of companies are paying for maybe 10 to 12 therapy sessions through insurance. So maybe just go and check out what they offer, what tools and resources um, they offer that you can take advantage of as an employee. Thirdly, go and find a local therapist. You'll be able to be seen in about three to five days usually. So check out, um, there's some websites, we link them below, Psychology Today. You just pop in your postcode, have a look who you like the look of, maybe have arrange a, a call with them that would be free so you can pick the therapist you want to work with. So just, it's really important that you know that you do have options. Talking about what's going on is vital it will make you feel less depressed it will make you feel supported there's a great quote from jay-z and he says um you can't heal what you don't reveal i just love that um, so talking to somebody in a safe and confidential environment will help reduce your depression sleep what can we do with our sleep to improve how we're feeling to lift our mood so we feel le less depressed with sleep, the top tips are a cool room, a dark room, a quiet room. You are also now able to look at other tools and techniques around maybe heavier blankets, looking at what we call a sleep hygiene routine. So actually, what is your sleep hygiene routine? What time are you going to bed? What time are you getting up? How much sleep do you need? So some people need six hours sleep, other people need nine hours sleep. So actually, what do you need and how much are you getting when you're not feeling great? And what do we need to put in place? So what is your sleep hygiene routine? Also look at screen time. When we are depressed, we're gonna be on our phones a little bit more or on the laptop. A great excuse that I hear all the time is, oh, I need to have my phone in my bedroom because it's my alarm clock. Rubbish. Get a different alarm clock, have the phone outside of the bedroom so it goes off in the morning and you have to walk to it and wake yourself up. So really notice what you need to put in place for your sleep hygiene routine 
and if your sleep is really impacted and your partner is noisy, snores, hot, cold, anything like this, go and sleep in the spare room or ask them to go and sleep in the spare room um, while you can get your sleep in order because sleep has such a huge impact on our mental health. Movement, okay? What does movement do? So what movement will do is when we begin to move our bodies, we're able to create natural serotonin. So the serotonin that I talked about that has really dwindled in the brain and there's no positive thoughts, there's no happy thoughts, there's no, the neurons aren't connecting and flashing. We need serotonin. So movement, we're gonna create serotonin. So this is why people say, oh, I felt great after doing a class or going for a run. There's a reason for that. It's because you have created natural serotonin in your brain. Please look at what your options are for going running, walking. Great one with depression is often it's this anger that's trapped in the body, boxing. Think about what you want to do. Do you want to do karate? Do you want to go swimming or zumba? Anything you can do to move your body is going to begin to create natural serotonin or breath. When we're depressed, we're low, okay? So it's like we're sort of curled up, can't be bothered. The breath is really shallow, really shallow. So anything we can do to power up the breath, hold the breath, so we're powering up. Inhale, oxygenating the blood, okay? Bringing some movement in, breathe. Energize the body with the breath. Food, what food can we begin to eat to help our serotonin levels? Please Google it, okay? There's walnuts, there's salmon, um, there are certain types of vegetables that have really great benefits to our serotonin levels. Please look into this yourself. What do you need to change? If you're gonna be eating loads of carbs, you're gonna be feeling a bit sluggish. Loads of sugar, it's a short-term hit. We're gonna feel great when we go and have that big bit of cake, but then we're gonna feel rubbish. Sugary drinks, okay? All these quick go-tos that we might go to for coping mechanisms, they're gonna make us feel a bit rubbish afterwards. Alcohol, alcohol is a depressant, simple as, okay? Notice your alcohol intake. If I'm not suggesting that you stop drinking, and actually in certain cases I may suggest that for a short period of time, notice how alcohol impacts your depression, or at least bring to your awareness, if I've had a drink, I'm going to feel pretty rubbish the next day. The reason is my serotonin levels are really low, okay? So it's really beginning to notice what you're consuming in your body and how that impacts your mood and that heavy, dark sensation that we feel in our bodies. Self-care. When we're depressed, we need to put a bit of self-care in because it's very common that the self-care is gone, okay? So we may not bother with our hair, we may not put our makeup on, we might just walk around in a fleece with our hair in a scrunchie. Um, not, people will notice this as well, so just noticing where's my self-care gone, what, what could I start to do to improve that, what do I enjoy doing? What might give me some energy? Where am I gonna find comfort, especially if I'm not feeling great? Um, so really looking at self-care. And again, please hold in mind that by talking to someone, by being active and asking for help and seeking support, you will be able to work on this. These symptoms are all normal symptoms to an abnormal situation in your life that is making you feel depressed. You are being made to feel stuck for a, quite an abnormal period of time with these sensations and feelings. 